good news for small and medium scale businesses out there, SMEs, you can now advertise your businesses online for free. Can see Google's new site that has been established. It is www.africagetyourbusinessonline.com. And we are here with Auntie Alice, who has been into braiding hair and training new people in the industry for over 20 years now. So with this, we are going to show you how to create a simple website to get your business online. To open a business site, you first need a Gmail account, that is if you do not have one already. Then go to www.getonlineafrica.com to open the site builder. Fill and answer the necessary questions on the page. But remember to provide your contact address, direction and location of your business to get on the Google business map. Finally, add pictures of your business to beautify your page. You now have your own business site, all for free. With just a click, you can do this at the comfort of your home to advertise your business. But if you can't do this as well, you can also get somebody to assist you. But first of all, you need a Gmail account to get on this business page. Well, so now Sandra just created a website for Auntie Alice's braiding salon. Let me see if I can quickly find her on the internet. So, Auntie Alice braids. Uh, I can't find it. First page, second page, nothing. Let me try going directly to her website. Auntie Alice dot com. And this is her website. Her page is open. You can go there. Um, part of the reason would also be because it's just been created. So there aren't enough visitors to her website just yet. So the more people that visit or search for Auntie Alice's braids, the higher up it will come when you search in Google. Um, sort of like Auntie Muniwache. If I go search for Auntie Muniwache quickly, I'll see her. Let's do this. That's her website, antimuniwache.getafricaonline.com. And it's on the first page, it's number five or six. But here's Auntie Muniwache's website. So that's all we have time for login this week. Don't forget to visit us on our Facebook page. It's login on TV3 News. Please join us again next week.